what happened with the malice in the palace when you and the Pacers went at it with the man who was previously known as James as a uh, Ron Artest. Ron Artest, right? I still call him Ron. Right. I still Metal call World him Ron. Priest, but yeah. what what happened here? Okay, so this is what a lot of people don't know. Okay, so the game was basically over. You know, at that point, every the whole league knew we were the best team in the league that year. We had the best record. And this game was our test to see where we were. You know, they were one of the best teams at the time. So we went there and blew them out. We went in by 15 with like 45 seconds left. And um, that was my first year on the team. So you, you got to remember the previous year, they played in the Eastern Conference Finals. So it was already a rivalry there that I had no idea about. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the game, some kind of way, Jamal Tinsley and Ron Artesa are having a conversation at the free throw line. I'm not knowing Ron is thinking about returning a foul to Ben from last year's playoffs. If I would have known that, I would have stopped him. We all know Ron wasn't in his right mind. Mm -hmm. He did. He didn't need a battery in his back to do something stupid. He did that on. His, he did that on his own. So he didn't need a battery in his back. But Jamal Tinsley put a battery pack in his back and told him, like, if you want to get this foul that you owe him from last year, why get it? The dumbest thing to tell him. We're up 45 points. We're, we're like 16 to four at the time, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. We had the best record in the league, and uh, he go fouls Ben. I'm guarding Ben. I let him score. Clock, let the clock run out. I just let Ben walk to the basket, let it score, let the clock run. He comes from out of nowhere and take Ben out the air. This is what people don't know. A couple of days before that, I think Ben had just lost his mom. So he can't, he wasn't even supposed to play that game. He showed up at the game. So I know he wasn't in his right mind. I mean, losing my, if I lose my mom, I'll probably be you no know, telling what I'll be the next couple of days. But he filed him. And Ben didn't expect it. Next thing you know, Ben run up to Ron and push his head out to the parking lot. So his body's still staying here, but his head is in the parking lot. So we got to find a way to get his head back on his <laughs> neck. No, just, but Ben pushed him so hard. Like, I, I didn't think Ron was going to be alive. And, and as Ben pushed him, Ben just starts swelling up and just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So by that time, we're just trying to calm Ron down because we're trying to get out of there. We won the game. Let's get out of here, get this win. And to Ron's credit, we never seen Ron calm down or relax like that. So he did it. And as soon as he calmed down, a beer came and hit him dead in the face. He took Ben Wallace throwing all kind of stuff at him. He took people saying stuff to him. But when the beer came down his face, he just lost it. Me personally, I couldn't take another man throwing anything in my face. That's just like spitting in my face. And when he went, I didn't think twice. Like, I didn't think, well, maybe I'll get fined. No. I'm with these guys more than I'm with my family during the course of the year. So this is like my brothers. I was raised to be a, a protector and, and, and to, be, to be with my brothers doing thick and thin. When he went, I just went with him. Rick, I, I, Rich, I, I didn't think twice. Went in there, laid a couple guys out, and did what I had to do. But the funniest part about it is going to make all y'all laugh. We get in the locker room, and we're sitting there. My legs are scratched up from hopping over the bleachers. Ron's sitting there calming down. His first question to me, mm -hmm. do you think we're going to get in trouble? <laughs> you know my reply <laughs> you lucky we have a job mm. he asked me that and we all the whole locker room was like no Ron I, you serious <laughs> trouble we, we passed trouble we passed trouble we finna get kicked out the league and you know defiance came down did you were you genuinely concerned you were gonna get kicked out of the league that yes. you would lose the, you, that, that your NBA privileges would be revoked I actually thought my career was over I actually did you know um Ron had been in trouble already, but I knew, you know, it's never been a situation where they, we, a team went in there and started fighting fans. You know, I knew this was something new, and it was bad for the league because they were trying to clean up the dress code at the time and make us wear suits and all that nonsense. And I was actually worried, when, especially when Ron got suspended first and they suspended him for the whole season. Mm -hmm. I was like, Whew. well, if they, if they suspended him for the whole season, they might, you know, at least let me play next year. I ended up getting 30 games, and I ended up getting to get fined 30, 3 million for 30 games. And uh, I need my 3 million back. <laughs> ASAP. <laughs> now, though, I mean, any regrets? This is the only thing I regret? Mm -hmm. I regret how we handle it. I don't regret defending my teammate. Mm -hmm. I don't regret that. I regret going in the stands and punching fans. I regret that totally. Especially regret losing 3 million. <laughs> For sure. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.
If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.